Houston has time. Three seconds, two seconds. Paul, the pull up. He nails it with .2 on the clock. The three point answer from Chris Paul. Over five seconds left, but Paul gets right to his spot, top of the key, drains it. Paul hit the buzzer beater earlier. Paul backing in. Oh! He is scorching hot. Chris Paul can do no wrong. No question, Chris Paul is feeling it in this one. Looks at the clock, a little sidestep, release. Well, they're Kansas, Kentucky guys all over this league now. Well, that's where the one and done guys go. Oh, <laughs> that was one and done, too. And give it up. Shots to the big. Nice pass, Capella inside, lays it up, and <laughs> Chris Paul, a season high, 14th assist. One of the all-time greats. Look at this pass. Left hand behind the back to a rolling Clint Capella. That's beautiful basketball. Make that 15 assist. Two to shoot. Biz has got Paul. Oh, my. Chris Paul with a 6'9 Biombo in his grill. There's no timeout taken. He's going to make this shot. Here's Luca. He gives it up. Brunson for the win. It's blocked at the buzzer. And the game is over. Rockets win it 94-93. I thought Luca would keep it after the Mavericks decided not to call a timeout. Defense comes to him. He makes the right play. And give Chris Paul a lot of credit. We're coming up with that block shot. We talked about his defense early. And referees aren't going to use that whistle at this juncture in the game. Yep. Eric Gordon against Torian Prince. CP3 coming out to the top. Rifles it to Fareed. And Chris Paul is putting on a show here at both ends of the floor. Uh, he and Vince Carter both playing very well. But the older guys are getting it done. There's Fareed with the night. One, two, pick and roll. Harden and Paul. Oh, Chris Paul. Ooh, it's got to go in, Smitty. It's got to go in, it's Smitty. Here. You are the president of Smitty's top plays under the rim. Can that go as a nominee, Smitty? Yes, it can. I mean, he crossed <laughs> over the entire gym. And it's tipped in by Harold. A rare highlight for the Clippers. And the horse. Oh, oh, it's banked in. They say the basket counts by Paul. A 60-footer to beat the buzzer. Pretty sure it's the Rockets night when that's happening. You think so? End of, the, end of the quarter. Five seconds remain. Paul with Gay. Two. Tough three. And he drains it. Wow. That's an impossible shot. Did well just to hit iron. And Chris Paul hits a three. Chris Paul hits two threes to end the half. OKC, after as well as the Warriors played, is beyond half court. As it stands, and that is score at halftime. good. He is the glue. You're right, he's right. Yeah. And it's created something really dynamic. Like I say, this is a really, really solid basketball team. It's going to be great. Paul at the buzzer from 15 feet gives the Thunder a 66-53 lead. As here is Chris Paul leaves the league in clutch points. Gonna let the guys start to lick their wounds and get ready for the next one. Oh, oh Paul again comes off his jacket. <laughs> He's telling himself, I, I gotta stop this. The foul to stop the action. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So he took that. Head over to the bench. Oh, the left hand that Megan. And what you like about it. In the words of Shaq, he said, listen, are you not entertained? There. Things might have ended up differently. Thunder got to get it in with 2.1. Paul will take the three. Knock it down, but Boston, who had a four-point advantage, will win it by one. Here's Butler looking for Gobert. Paul oh, oh, for here is Paul with four seconds left. Paul on the drive, got hit, and banks it in! Wizardry! Backs up into a three because he knows it's a two for one. And then he waved Danilo Gallinari down and said, I've got the matchup I want. Gets Paul Millsap reacting to the cross, then the between the legs. <laughs> Come on, how good is that? And now a steal by Chris Paul. 
His three is through. And back-to-back -back threes and not the way the Grizzlies wanted to end the first half. For John Morant in this situation, he can't see as he takes off to run here. He has to see on the possession before. He has to see that. Chris Paul into the screen and roll. Paul fading baseline hits it. Starters back on the floor for the Suns. Good hands by Lonzo Ball. Two to shoot. Chris Paul has to let it fly. Does and drills it. Suns have the lead. Oh, what a pass by Paul Ooh. to Kaminsky. That was slick. Yeah, it was. This play right here, he just behind the back. What a nice pass. Frank Kaminsky, all he had to do is just grab it and go up with it. Watch. Boom, boom, and then behind the back. See that space between the two defenders? Yep. That's the only way that... Now, we know the threes, but now he just shot... Come on! What's the deal with these point guards? It's 2021. What? <laughs> little to little oops all night. Little alley-oop right there. Right there again. Game tied at 109. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Crowder mm -hmm. hits the three. So this is all Phoenix wanted to do, Jim. Just stay within striking distance. Mind we're probably contemplating a challenge, but here's Paul right there, just a block. You know, knowing that that quadrant. Paul against Randall. Crossover. Pull back. Spin. Throws it up with the basket. Oh, it goes in. Chris Paul with a circus shot. And the Knicks are down five. Hi, folks. Oh, two consecutive daggers. This one, a little serendipity. With it. You want to have a floater in your arsenal. Oh, oh he just went. No, he didn't. Ball. Stop it. Stop okay. it, Chris Paul. All right, all right. Stop it. <laughs> well, when you, when you at your legs spread, he's almost telling them, please. And you will see that play later. <laughs> the guys talked about it on the Jack in the Box at the half. I and mean, the Warriors have to get up and down. But you have to come up with stops and not take it out of the basket. Kennard passes up the open look. Great play by the Suns. Paul chases it down. Oh. The back to Bridges, and he crushes it in. In this with Chris Paul. Too many. To, the hands of deflection out. Awareness knowing his teammate is coming and Bridges drops a dime. Joking earlier is, is Ish Wainwright came in the other night and knocked down a couple of threes and <laughs> to, to kind of further that story. A beautiful bomb the back pocket pass to the roll of Bianco for the slam for guarantee from CarMax. Learn more at CarMax.com. Busy. Nice, nice little pick and roll by Busy finishing. Driving. Missed it and Claxton couldn't finish. Here's Paul. Oh, no look. Counted in a foul. Bridges gets to the rim and Chris Paul ridiculous vision when you miss a layup the numbers are not going to be in your favor in transition hence cp3 able to time up a cutting mikhail bridges you talk about par for the course shot clock inside of 10 eight him on the drive good deep by eight and batted around and paul's got it makes the pass once now it's big and strike layup is good in the left hand and chris paul can tell they missed him. I mean, not many guys in the history. Chris Paul, he thought about three. Yeah, you you got Everybody stay home. Yep, over Dyson, and it stays home. Pels have a timeout with 2.8 to play. You don't become a Hall of Famer by accident. Stars recognize the situation. You might say he's shuffling his feet a little bit, but play on. You're not going to get that call. That's a good finish. Yeah. That is a tough finish over a long guard. An excellent defender in Dyson Daniel. Yeah, 6'7, six, 6'8. Six, so Chris Paul in the building. That he, I, you know, I, like I said, I watched him in college. I just never thought that his athleticism was off the charts like this. What a pass. Chris Paul to busy rolling for two. And after you see this shot here. Steven Adams. I mean, oh, the right there, the pass there. Yeah, I thought that was the last shot, but excellent pass to Busy in that left hand. Landale slides down inside, able to hit the deck and make the save. Shot clock winding down. And CP3 